Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. And I think you have watched my uh, earlier videos on the part one and part two. So this will be the part three video, which uh, will be detailing about the uh, conversion options that we have in the MD04 transaction and how to read uh, the statistics in the MD04. So let's go into the MD04 screen. So today we'll be using a raw material as an example. So here from the MD04 screen, we can see uh, that we have an available quantity of uh, 1985.003 kgs in our plant stock, right? So wherever you see the available quantity just in the row of the stock, so it means that this is the available quantity uh, in our plant stock. So you can navigate directly to the plant stock. Like I said earlier, you can use the MMB or you also can use the uh, options you have here by clicking on the magnifying glass and then click on the stock overview. So that will tell us uh, the complete stock details that we have uh, for this raw material in the plant, right? In case there are a few batches, so everything will be available uh, in the batch wise. Right, so let me go back to MD04. Right, so this is our available quantity, and next we have a requirement uh, as a safety stock of uh, 1200 kgs. So, like I said, the requirements will be shown in the uh, negative values, right? So, which is going to reduce the uh, stocks that we have in the plant. So, safety stock is a kind of a requirement for us on this material that will actually need uh, uh, the 1200 kgs uh, to be always reserved for this safety stock purposes. So now based on the calculations, the available quantity minus the requirement quantity of the safety stock that gives me uh, 785.003 kgs. So this is what will be left over after the plant stock has been consumed by the safety stock, right? So this is a kind of a reservation that always I need to have uh, 1200 kgs of uh, safety stock in the plant. And next we do have uh, a purchase requisition of uh, 10 kgs, so which is increasing the plant stock, right? So that will actually be the sum of the available quantity after the calculation plus the incoming quantity. So that makes it up to 795.003 kgs and on the third row we have the dependent requirement so which is uh, nothing but a planned order that's coming from the semi-finished material or the finished material whichever is going to consume this raw material into the manufacturing process or it can be a reservation as well right so when we talk about dependent requirements it means that this is a planned order and when we just double click on that so this pop-up screen uh, tells us that what is the planned order number that actually created a, a requirement on this raw material or reserved this material of uh, 1000 kgs, right? And if you like to uh, go into the details of the planned order, so no need to search for the planned order here uh, or go to the MD04 for the semi-finished. So you can directly use these options you have here. So if you'd like to take a look so you can click the display icon. So that will take you to the planned order details uh, for the semi-finished material. And you also have the flexibility to change the planned order from here itself instead of navigating it to, into a, a different transaction. So now coming back to the uh, stock analysis. So now uh, as we are left with 795.003 kgs, and we have a, a dependent requirement or a planned order that's coming from the semi-finished of uh, 1000 kgs, right? So by doing the calculation again, we will be uh, needing more uh, quantity of uh, 200, 204.997 kgs, right? So since we see a negative value here, it means that we are still uh, shortage of this particular quantity to fulfill the requirements that we have for this raw material in the plant right 
So now the next step is that based on the MRP run, the, the system is going to propose the purchase requisitions or the planned orders and that depends on the uh, procurement type that the metal is actually using. So since it being a raw material, we are actually procuring this material from the supplier. So it will always have the procurement type as F, right? So when I run MRP, I expect to see a purchase requisition generated by the system so that it gets converted into a purchase order, right? So let's uh, see the prerequisites of uh, a material to be uh, eligible as part of the MRP run, right? So the first thing is that we need to have a proper MRP type. I mean to say a valid MRP type, which is relevant uh, for the MRP, right? So, so here we have the MRP type as PD, so which is relevant for planning. But in case you have an MRP type, which is not relevant for planning, for example, ND, so this material cannot be uh, carried out or or pushed into the uh, material requirements planning, right? So this is one prerequisite. And then we need to have a planning file entry for this material. So where we can check that is MD21. So this is the display of the planning file entry. So I just typed in the material. And here we, ha we have the uh, planning file entry options. So I'm going to choose the net change planning or E even I, I can just leave it as blank and then execute. So now here I can see that the material has an entry in the planning file entry as you can see in the net change planning and also in the net change uh, planning on the in the planning horizon right. So we need to make sure that the material has an, a checkbox here or an X mark right in the planning file entry. So only in this uh, situation the material will be eligible uh, to uh, create a purchase requisition or a planned order after the MRP run. So if there is no entry for the material in the planning file entry so then we wouldn't get a purchase requisition generated. So since we have the uh, material in the planning file entry so let's uh, go ahead and execute MRP for this. So I'm going to use uh, the MD0 to transaction to run the, the MRP. So since it being uh, a raw material, I can actually use the MD03, which is a single item, uh, single level planning, right? So let me use MD03 for that. So the main difference between MD02 and MD03 is that MD03 is going to run the MRP only for this item that we see on the screen, right? So itself, uh, uh, it says that it's a single item and a single level planning. But if I go to MD02, this is a planning uh, for the single item at a multi-level, which means that if the material here has a bill of material and there are components in it, and you would like to plan the complete set of components in one uh, uh, MRP run, so then we can use the MD02 transaction. So since it being a, a raw material and there is no bill of material, I'm going to use MD03 for now. And here I give the material and uh, I have the option to provide the MRP area and also the plant. And next uh, we have the uh, options to choose uh, like how to create the purchase requisitions. So should these purchase requisitions be in the opening period? Right? Or should they create a planned order so that they will be later create uh, converted into a purchase requisition and all? Or if you'd like to have uh, a direct purchase requisition. So this opening period is basically coming up from the uh, OPPQ uh, parameters or to say the MRP uh, planning parameters uh, for the plant. So next we have uh, the schedule agreements. In case you are going to use uh, a, a schedule agreement for this material and you would like to generate a schedule lines. So then we have the options to uh, choose uh, the right one whether to create the schedule lines or not. And next we go, we have the option to create the MRP list or not. So in this uh, create MRP list, 
we have uh, various options to create a, an MRP list or to not create an MRP list. So if I'm going to use the uh, no MRP list or the option three, I cannot see the uh, MRP situations or the stock requirement situations uh, after the MRP run has been carried out, which means that the MD05 will not be available for this material if I'm going to use the no MRP list option here, right? So in our next videos, let's try to understand about uh, the MD04 and MD05 and how does they differ uh, in the planning uh, parameters and all. And next we have the planning mode, whether to adapt the planning data or to re-export the bomb routing or to delete and recreate the planning data, right? So here uh, we'll use the adapt planning data. So if I'm going to use the third option as delete and recreate data, it means that the existing purchase requisitions or the planned orders, so those will be deleted and a new purchase requisition or a planned order will be created after the MRP run. And next with the scheduling, so this is not actually useful for the raw material, why? Because it's mostly used uh, for the in-house manufactured items, whether to uh, read the lead time from the material master or to pick the lead time based on the uh, routings or the master recipes, right? So for now, I'm going to uh, use the default options that we see here then click, hit on enter yes so now the MRP has been carried out for this material and going back to the MD04 so here I'm just going to refresh the list where I expect to see a virtual requisition but I have uh, a planned order being generated and the document type I'm going to uh, use the other option so since I've used the virtual requisition in open period I got a plan order created since it being out of the opening period. So now if I use the option one to create purchase requisitions, right? And now I'm going, I want to delete the data, right? So then I'm going to use the planning mode as three to delete and recreate the planning data, right? So now the MRP has been carried out. Let me refresh the list. So now you can see that the purchase requisition has been created now and the previous planned order has been removed. So now there might be uh, a question for you like why not this purchase requisition is changed or updated, right? So if you look at this properly, we do have uh, the star indicator here, right? So which means that this purchase requisition has been firmed. So in MRP, the firm purchase requisitions cannot be modified or changed by the system automatically. So let's say uh, being a planner, if I have defined the proper dates and the quantities uh, or I modified the purchase requisition that has been proposed by MRP and I don't want MRP to change that data whenever the MRP is going to be executed. So I want to save those changes, right? So the planner can save the purchase requisition and automatically it gets an indicator as an affirming indicator. If you look at this, the firm checkbox, right? So wherever you see a purchase requisition or a planned order with this firming indicator, it means that it cannot be touched by MRP. Okay. And now coming to the next option, of converting the uh, purchase requisitions into purchase orders. So you might be probably using the standard uh, transactions like MB21N or the ME59N. So here we, in the MD04, we do have the flexibility to convert these purchase requisitions from the same screen itself instead of navigating it into a different screen. So now to do that, I just need to double click the purchase requisition and then click on this icon of converting it into a purchase order, right? So I just need to click on to this and to convert uh, the purchase requisition into a purchase order. And if you like to change the purchase requisition, you can use the change icon here that you see, right? The pencil. So now let me uh, click on the convert uh, the PR uh, to a purchase order icon. So now 
we are navigated to the uh, create purchase order transaction so I'm going to co copy paste the purchase requisition so everything comes up and then you can fill all the entries and then uh, save the purchase order so now once we are uh, done with creating the purchase order so we will be automatically navigated uh, back to the MD04 so here we can see we still have a purchase requisition but once I click on the refresh icon I can see that the purchase order has been uh, updated here by replacing the purchase requisition right so if you like to see the details of the vendor you have the option like I said earlier uh, by clicking on this icon where you can see the vendor code who's actually supplying this raw material right so now like I said earlier in the MD03 we have the option to choose the MRP list right so let's see now uh, what's the advantage of the MRP list here so I'm going to MD05 for that where I can see the MRP list for the material and hit on enter so here we can see the data that has been updated on this particular date and time right so this uh, transaction or the MD05 is not dynamic in nature why because we can see that the purchase equation has been converted into a purchase order where we can see that uh, in the MD04 right let me show you that in MD04 so now we have the updated data in MD04 but whereas the MD05 still shows the purchase requisition this is because uh, that the MD05 or the MRP list it gets updated only uh, when the MRP run has been carried out for the material so as long as you execute or use the uh, MRP list option uh, during the MRP run so the MD05 is not going to be updated automatically based on the transactions that we do for on the material right so to update this uh, or to make it sync with uh, the MD04 so let me just uh, take show the uh, MRP run again here in, in MD03 where I'm going to use the MRP list option so though we have uh, uh, you know no open requirements uh, still for the material so we don't expect to see any purchase recommendations or any change in the proposals right so I hit on enter so nothing is going to change but the only thing is that the MD05 would be updated so this is the MD04 so there is no change here so let me go to MD05 so here we have it so I'll go back one step and come to this so now we can see that the purchase requisition earlier has been updated with the uh, latest change that we see in MD04 with the purchase order and here you can see the change in uh, timing as well so this is when the last MRP run has been executed for this material right okay guys so that's all for now so keep watching my videos and we'll get back to you with more uh, informative uh, sessions and videos on the MRP as our next topic so stay tuned